To have a successful, I think, holiday party, you got to make sure everything's dressed right, and that's where Carol Mackey comes in Hi. to help us make sure our 4th of July looks spectacular for our guests, which is really cool. So let's yeah. talk a little bit. The most important thing is how your table looks, right? Right, and you don't want to spend a lot of money on your table, um, especially seasonal, you use it once a year. So an inexpensive idea I have is to just layer your table with ribbon. So seasonal ribbon, very inexpensive and um, makes the whole table very festive. Yeah. Also, too, I like, too, like you can make it and kind of section things off. So almost yeah. like you could put the dip in different, like, little sections of it, right? Right. Yes, definitely. So I love um, it. All right. Yeah. And so since this is my first uh, 4th of July in Arizona, <laughs> I'm giving a subtle nod to my new home state. So you'll see that as we go along, starting with the signature cocktail which is white wine sangria. Mm. So um, for my stir sticks, I just took a, um, a pick and then um, these little plastic animals, that, my kids had tons of these, I just poked a hole and secured it with Gorilla Glue. Yeah. And so it makes a super fun pick. Oh my gosh. And then of course the glasses are antique cactus glasses. Yeah. And you said you found these online, right? Yeah, so, like, you know, I used to love hunting um, down finds in stores, but eBay, you know, of course. So yeah. I love them, yeah. So, so um, and then the um, tray is in, in, inexpensive uh, DIY, so it's just a frame from the dollar store, and then I put in seasonal paper. I love it. Yeah. So you can actually change that out each time. Exactly, yeah. It's uh, awesome. Costs nothing. Okay. Okay, appetizer yes. is um, my Napa Valley Olive Tapenade, mm. which is a recipe that I replicated from Napa Valley. And then I'm serving it with lavash uh, crackers that are in the shape of a star, so they're seasonal. Locally, I found them here at Sprouts. Okay, I was going to say, did you make those yourself? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I make this very easy um, and, you know, for anybody. Yeah. So, and of course, all the recipes are on my website. And, and is and, the key for this yeah. is actually when you get things to throw away the, the wrapping that you did in to make it look like you did your own because I sometimes can, pretend like it's course. mine and I forget the wrappings <laughs> on the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, make sure you do that. All right. Okay, so, um, and then the flowers, I use fresh flowers and d don't be afraid to put in a little faux and a little cactus, again, the nod to Arizona. I like that. Okay, and then the main entree is a grilled skirt steak salad with homemade blue cheese dressing. I like that. Okay, so nobody wants, I discovered, nobody wants to be grilling in the middle of the afternoon, right? Yes. So skirt steak has to be marinated 24 hours. So you marinate it and then grill it in the morning. This is cold or room temp, uh, so it's ready to go for your party. I like that, and this and I like the salad because with the hot uh, temperatures during the day, right. you want something nice who, on your summer, stomach. Summer, who doesn't love a refreshing salad? And so. a little tip for the skirt steak: if you see inner and outer, outer is always the better cut. Ooh, okay, yes. all right, okay. I didn't know that. All right. And then before you get to dessert, um, I want to mention the little can, the candle. It's not so little. The watermelon. It's yeah. from CargoInc.com. Uh -huh. It's a great company, 100% women owned. And they um, they sell all different products from all over the world, handmade. I love this. Yes, this is yes. Great. Which is ties it's in with our watermelon. Well, and you don't want to like light it. It's almost like a beautiful <laughs> decoration right there. Yeah, right. You know, yeah, so. right. right. <laughs> all right. Okay. So watermelon cupcakes. Yeah. So I had a round cutter, and I cut out the watermelon, little um, whipped cream on top, some almonds and sprinkles, and then I put them in a green uh, cupcake. Uh, wrapper to sort of replicate the rind of the watermelon. Oh my gosh, that is such a great idea. <laughs> so very, uh, that is amazing. And again, easy, very easy, and this is all great do ahead. And that's what you want for, the, of course, when you're trying to get things ready by the pool and then for the fireworks and stuff. So exactly, yeah. All right, where can we find more information about all yeah, your... Yeah, so I posted all the recipes because you'll definitely want to make these at carolvetcooks.com. Perfect. Carol, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for having Love me. Love it.